Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is to wherever you're at. 91 Cav GT here, uh, coming at you with a cargo trailer update. Uh, yeah, got a little bit of work done, uh, making a little bit of progress. Um, unfortunately, the cargo trailer right now is having to do multi duty, multi purpose duty. Um, not only is it in process of being converted into a little camping trailer, but right now I'm also having to use it as storage, as my little workshop area, since I'm now doing the whole RV life thing. Uh, don't really have a good place that I can solder. Can't do that inside. Uh, way too many nasty fumes for that. Gotta do that outside, so this is a perfect spot for it. So, I can pretty much only work while the weather is good. Luckily for us, I'm in South Texas. Typically the weather's pretty good except for during the summertime. Um, so, we're getting to be a good time of the year to do a lot of work. So, the cargo trailer. It was used to help move, so it's pretty nasty on the outside. Uh, we did move a lot of stuff in the rain and it did stay dry. Uh, there were a couple of little areas that did leak a little bit of water, nothing major, um, but nothing, nothing enough to warrant completely rebuilding anything, nothing like that. Uh, just a couple of little spots that I've got to focus on putting new uh, seals on to new uh, weather stripping in that's about it not bad um, I'm very happy with how this cargo trailer did during the move uh, we have a Volkswagen Atlas SUV uh, as a tow vehicle for this that's what I was using and it has a turbocharged four-cylinder and even with this loaded down uh, with stuff going back and forth, which so half the time was loaded, half the time was unloaded. But the car averaged 20 miles per gallon. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, the storage unit where we were taking most of our stuff to versus where our house was uh, is about 15 miles away, one way. And most of that was highway. So, very happy. Uh, 20 miles per gallon pulling this thing and that's with it loaded so once I get completely finished with it um, I can really expect to get 20 to 22 miles per gallon on the highway so I can't complain about that that's with that Volkswagen Atlas uh, different vehicles obviously will get different gas mileage <clears throat> but it seems to be paired up pretty good for a trailer of this size so I can't complain. So what have I done with the trailer since the last video? Um, quite a few things. So let's flip around and take a look. All right, like I say, it is being used for storage and as a workbench. Um, <clears throat> just got finished doing some work. But let's move back a little bit and the doors here I redid the weather stripping up top changed the weather stripping all through there and same thing on this door change the weather stripping out and it has really helped out a lot it really seals up better now I've got to do some weather stripping down at the bottom of the doors because it's not going to really stick there but down there at the bottom of both doors and that will help to seal at the bottom going all the way across so got that done like I say the outside of the trailer is still pretty dirty pretty nasty but got the solar panel on the front for recharging one of my projects right now inside so let's climb up top and look at that. That is 
is now a huge flexible solar panel that was has now been mounted up on the roof. Now I still need to get the terminals and run these wires inside. There's going to be some little cups that's going to be close to these little brackets that are going to run the wires inside. It's going to be kind of like this. Um, this particular solar panel I really lucked out on. Uh, found it online and this particular solar panel uh, I believe is about 280 watts if I remember correctly. Um, it doesn't put out a whole lot of current. It's only about three and a half amps of current, but it's like 70 something volts. So it's really high voltage, low amperage. <clears throat> I already have a charge controller for it. And uh, this is all mounted. It's sealed up. This is seal tape. So I went and actually uh, put the solar panel, I cleaned everything up really good first up top put the solar panel up here, got it in the position, raised up half of it, put some adhesive underneath it, folded it down. Sorry, the tire I'm standing on is kind of shifting around a little bit. Okay, and then I redid it. I lowered that, this side down, I raised the back side up, folded it forward, put adhesive down, folded that down, and then I put seal tape all around the edges to seal it up nice and good. <clears throat> so this solar panel should not go anywhere at all. So let's take a look on the inside. If I can get down from here without breaking my neck. All right, there we go. Yeah, that solar panel right now is just for another project that I've got going on right now. Okay, now inside, put insulation up on the roof. This is half inch, half inch foam board. And it's up there and I'm gonna seal those gaps there later down the road because I've got some wiring that I need to run here on the edges. But let me show you here. Okay, that's showing the metal in between. Now on the foam board, 90 versus 105. So there's 15 degrees of difference just between the metal and the foam board. Sorry about the wind. Once again, it's windy here. Uh, <clears throat> so that's not too bad. I looked around today at a home improvement store and it looks like I'm probably going to end up with cedar planks up here going front to back um, so that will help to insulate this roof a little bit better and I'm going to be putting a couple of lights up here these uh, padded rails that are up here all of that's coming down I'm going to take these off these other bolts off so I've got a lot of work to do here now this fitting right here I'm probably gonna leave that in place I've got some plans for that later on <clears throat> but all of this is gonna be coming down so you can see there's a lot of rivets missing from this panel here see there's a couple of rivets there but then they're missing I went out and got a rivet gun see they're all missing from over here too but I'm gonna be running some wire through there and gonna be having some PVC pipe back behind so that way the wires don't get pinched in the seam whenever I put the rivets back in but got a lot of work to do still but this is where we're starting at, basically. And uh, in between other projects, I'm going to do more and more work on in here. Uh, these two boxes here are full of 
lithium batteries. I need to build the lithium battery pack. That's going to be very time consuming. And there's some leftover foam board insulation here that I'm going to be insulating the battery box with to help keep it warmer. And I'll be getting a couple of uh, 12 volt heaters to go inside the battery box. Uh, so that way, just in case the temperature starts to drop, I'll be able to keep the batteries warm. But I don't really think that's going to happen here in South Texas and with the places that we're going to go camping at. But you never know. So anyway, that's where we're sitting at. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. Uh, <coughs> One downfall of being in South Texas is there's a lot of pollens in the air. <clears throat> Plus we just had a cold front blow through, so it mixed up a whole lot of stuff. In the air, that is. So anyway, um, making some progress, getting some stuff done. Um, Uh, the next step, I have on paper written out what all I need to put inside here. That's the water tank, the water pump, switch panel, uh, the solar controller, the power inverter, the charger for the battery bank, the battery bank, uh, the lights, all this kind of stuff. I need to sit down on paper and figure out exactly where all of that is going to go so that way I can plan out accordingly what I'm going to be putting where and what I need to put up how I need to put up and how I'm going to insulate these sidewalls I don't know if I'm going to do a reflectix on the sidewalls um, and then put one by twos on the sidewall so there will be a little bit of an air gap in between the reflectix and the inside uh, panels I don't know I really don't know yet I haven't decided on that but that's one of the things I have to decide as well what is going to be on the inside um, as far as insulation and am I going to continue with those cedar pickets on the walls I might it would sure smell good <laughs> but I just don't know yet I just don't know it's more stuff I need to sit down and figure out so until next time God bless you thank you for watching and you have a good day